All right, guys, so the main reason I want to go through this and share this with you, at least this portion is so you know what to look for if you tear in your transfer case. I've seen some videos where they, they tear through the transfer case and they don't really explain what went wrong. So you definitely need to look out for this. And when you wipe this shaft out and you wipe this hub out, I can't remember, the shaft's like a hundred and something bucks and the hub is 80 or 90. And with the rebuild kit for the bearings and the seals and the tail housing and the new pump, I think I'm right around $550 into this thing so far. Some of that was sourced off Amazon, some of it was sourced off Rock Auto. All right, guys, it is uh, a little after 10 o'clock p.m. I'm out here in the shop. I'm going to try to put this transfer case back together. I got out here earlier today and I uh, took this green tub, put a garbage bag in it, filled with a bunch of simple green, and uh, cleaned everything up pretty well. And then my simple green started leaking out the bottom of the bag, and that bin's got a hole in it, but uh, got everything pretty well clean. I've got my new parts here. New tail housing, seal kit, bearing kit, new main shaft, new hub. Actually, my this is a one-piece hub. I I didn't realize it until later. This is a two-piece hub. I don't think it matters. They look identical, but. Uh, but I'm kind of hoping that works because this gear is definitely a little bit different but I think it'll be the same we'll see how that goes hell I might have bought the wrong part so what went wrong with this transfer case I'll give you a couple I'm not going to go through all the steps of me rebuilding it there's, there's better people know more about these things I'm going to struggle putting this thing back together probably but what was what was wrong with it number one the main shift fork to go from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive is pretty well wore completely away Let me make sure I got this is showing up on the screen here yeah there's pretty well nothing there and what should that fork look like well, let's see here It should have fingers on it. Notice that's this area here is probably half an inch wide across from here to here. And this one is maybe an eighth of an inch wide. It wore completely through the fingers. So what happened, of course, it got the uh, dreaded Of course, it pumped all the oil out of it. So replacing the shift fork, that's easy. I could have just done that and got got it working again. But it was going to eat itself over time. So uh, I'm going to take this off. Let's look at these side by side. They are a little, I don't know, maybe not. There we go. Sorry, you guys were looking at the uh, cabinet here. I was doing something above. They're not exactly the same. I'm hoping that notch right there isn't absolutely required. I'll dig into that though. Everything is at the same height. They are the same height and they're the proper diameter. So I will cross that bridge as I get there here shortly. That's one of the, one of the first things I check into. But uh, get me back on track here. Uh, what went wrong is, so it lost oil. It started wearing real bad, and I just wanted to give you guys this heads up. Everything in there is in real good shape. The lower sprocket, the planetary, all that seems to be in great shape. Uh, still gotta knock a bearing out of this thing here, but 
Did a lot of time cleaning this thing up. Plant, main planet, or I guess the main outer gear for the planets look good. So uh, we're in good shape. Wipe that thing out and get it ready to go back together. Why I have a new shaft here is because this is like an engine journal. Except it has no bearings in it. And this is the other part of it. So I learned pretty quick this thing is... Yeah, it's basically wiped out. I could have put it back together. The pump feeds oil through the spline, through the hole here. And it feeds oil out this and keeps this well lubricated. Show you how loose that one is. This one is so tight, it, it uh, hardly wants to go on. Be like just perfect. There we go. Spins loosely, almost no movement. Spins loosely, shakes around like crazy. So that thing had wore itself really badly. So this stuff here is pretty well junk. Hopefully that works for what I'm going to be doing. I'll put assembly lube on all this. But if you tear into your transfer case and you're going to do this, watching somebody on YouTube or however you're going to do it, that's one thing you, you really need to watch for. This adds up the price too because I've, I've also got a new pump. I think it's sitting over there. And with the new tail housing, with all that... I think I am right around $550 in parts. And I really hope that hub that I bought is not the wrong part. Because <laughs> that's that thing was like 80 bucks. Or 90 in itself. So I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna push out that bearing, get get all this put back together, and start going through those motions, getting ready for the main shaft at least, because I can definitely do that whether that hub's right or wrong. All right, guys, I got one little thing here I noticed. Uh, if you can see there in the light, that bad shift fork actually messed this ring up. I got it here on chucked up on the lathe. So that new shift fork actually won't fit in that ring because that thing is so galled up. Sorry, that phase converter is probably loud, but... I'm basically going to run that ring around with a file and file that high spot down because so it doesn't really need machined, it just needs to knock that high spot off. Alright guys, I'll show you what I'm doing here real quick just to clean this thing up. This burn. Basically, take the lathe on. You can probably hear there's a little bit of roughness in there. But not bad, pretty consistent. So I've got it cleaned up, roughed off. I take emery cloth, actually put it in my file, around my file, just like that.
filing really has smoothed up that back edge look. Enjoyed. All right, guys, quick update on the transfer case. <clears throat> I've got it going back together. They're covered up right now, though. I had it almost all the way back together. Pay attention to your main shafts. Uh, the cover looks real nice. I ended up ordering stuff from Rock Auto. I've always had real good luck with the Rock Auto. But for some reason, uh, these two shafts are flipped around right now. The old main shaft's the one closest to me, and the new one's over here. This new one actually is for an extra heavy-duty transfer case that would come in like an 8.1 or the 6.6 diesel. As you can see, the, the rear is a lot smaller on this one than it is on this one. So, for whatever reason, Rock Auto lists this. When you make your selection for your vehicle, it lists this shaft under the 6 liter. I didn't have this one completely disassembled to count all the splines at the time, so maybe. I'm not saying it's all their fault. Some of it's mine. I should have verified my part fitment. I'll have to look back. I can't even remember if they actually tell you the spline counts on Rock Auto, but... They definitely should. So I know some of the GM replacement part numbers don't tell you the spline counts either. So it can be a bit of a gamble. The stuff came here fast. I wish I would have paid attention a little better and put them up side by side. Here's another good side by side though on the wear that happened on this shaft. As you can see, there's almost no ridge here anymore No, on this shaft. There's a real good ridge sitting on it. So. Definitely this thing had seen a lot of wear when that pump goes out. So it's definitely something to watch for. While I'm here talking about this, I'll give you the spline counts on this shaft that came out of mine. It's 34, 37, 49, and 32. There is another one you'll have to watch out too. There is a 39 spline right here. It's almost the same diameter as this. It'd be a 39 spline count, much smaller diameter for a different oil pump. 38 or 39, I can't remember, but there's a 49 spline oil pump and then a 38 or 39 spline. So you gotta watch out for that as well because you can get the same exact shaft in a different oil pump spline. So you gotta be careful in what you're ordering. All right, guys, the truck is gone. It is uh, back in the driveway been driving around probably about a week and a half now so a little bit behind on getting video but uh got it running been driving it been dealing with some other projects here and there little things so uh it runs and drives just fine which it 
ran and drive just fine behind and forward actually never really made any sound when the transfer case was having issues but it does shift in and out of four wheel drive like it should and low range like it should so it's working good hopefully nothing's majorly wrong i probably will pull it in here sometime and just take a peek underneath it again to make sure everything's doing fine uh, we flushed the transmission that was a pretty easy ordeal except for one one little hiccup i'll show you went through almost five gallons of transmission fluid to do it uh, but we got the oil good and clean the big aggravation is this uh you can see what the drain plug looks like it uh somebody had rounded off the corners it's a 15 millimeter i even went as far as i was able to hammer on a 14 millimeter i still could not get it to break loose uh, i finally went nuclear and popped out the welder and uh once that seal blew up from the weld heat it uh it came out real easy and luckily it didn't catch anything on fire so <laughs> but sometimes that's just the way things go it took me two hours to get that plug out almost by the time i fought with it and fought with it and welded it up so uh, sometimes the easiest parts become the most difficult parts so uh, that's what happens every once in a while got some parts to get rid of i'll probably never reuse that shaft so that'll probably go to the scrap yard uh, that case all that stuff i'll take that over pretty well used up all the bearings all the kit there I, that one big uh, roller bearing it actually it's this one here they're pressed into the housing so the new housing i bought for the rear end had that already so or the new tail housing had that already so pressed in so i got some parts to get rid of some bunch of stuff to clean up but uh i did end up so the oil plug deal that kind of aggravated me i waited almost an extra week on that i ordered one off amazon they said it was going to be there on sunday i ordered it on a friday evening with prime it was supposed to be there on a sunday the thing didn't come till late wednesday so it pushed me all the way into another weekend before i had time to really flush the transmission that aggravated me that would be about the last it's about the last time i order anything off amazon that i actually need i could have went to a part store and got it guaranteed the next day so it's one of those deals amazon makes promises they don't always deliver and certain things it, it cost me another week on my truck so that just aggravated me i won't, won't do that again but I'm going to get to cleaning up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tune in for more. There's always something to work on around here. Uh, like and subscribe. And catch you on the next one.